Hey everyone, welcome to the special edition update episode on the uh, painting I did, Orcas at Play. And the reason I'm doing an update is when I turned the cameras off and I was done with that particular episode, I kept walking by the painting and I liked the way it was, but I kept seeing more stuff and more stuff. And so I would come in and grab the brush and add something and walk away and come back and add something or walk away. And I didn't film any of that. And uh, I apologize for that. But like I tell you guys uh, a lot of times, sometimes you just feel like painting and you got to you got to grab those moments when you're when you're feeling creative and just go in and paint. And that's the way I felt um, with this particular painting uh, Orcas at Play. So with that in mind, I thought I would show you what I did. Let's come up here to the upper left hand corner. The first thing I put in uh, that wasn't on the original painting was this large tree up here. No leaves on it, but I, I felt like the painting needed something up here at, at, in the top. And uh, so I went with the large tree and instead of leaves, I have little blackbirds sitting up in the, in the branches. Kind of hard to see, but they're sitting up there. I put a couple blackbirds up in the sky. I don't know what kind of birds. There's some sort of, you know, blackbird. Uh, might be crows, I don't know. But that's what I did as far as uh, in the sky and then in the tree. And then we come down here to the trees and the bushes. I added some shading, shadows, and uh, kind of darkened some of these, the bases of these uh, bushes and trees up just to give it more uh, contrast. The more I looked at this grassy area, I, I liked some of the uh, darker greens and the lighter greens, but it didn't really have a lot of shadow uh, and shading on it. So I added that and uh, like this hill right here is one of my favorite uh, parts. It makes this, this light part up here uh, look higher and then this kind of slopes down here where I added the, the shading to it. So I, I really like that. And as we come across here, just a little bit of dark here and there on these bushes and, and uh, little trees or whatever they are. So that's what I did up there. Didn't really do anything the shoreline. Uh, I left that alone. Um, so we'll come down here to the lower left-hand corner. And here's where things started getting real, uh, real fun for me. As I wanted to put fish in here. And so I put in these little red fish. They kind of look like angelfish to me. I don't know what they are. Um, I didn't look at anything. I just kind of made some fish shapes and I tried to make them all look the same type of shape, just bigger and smaller. So there's a school of these uh, red fish down here and I used midnight black to get their body shapes. And then I went back with uh, uh, bright red for the color of their bodies and then took my liner brush and just a, a dot for the eyes on a couple of the bigger ones. So that was the fish. And then here, if you'll notice uh, from the original uh, painting episode that we did, I had seaweed in near the bottom of this ocean floor coming up and floating up, but it was just using midnight black, or uh, I think I did a combination of midnight black and maybe some blue. It didn't have any color to it. So I got some sap green and I went with uh, sap green and a little midnight black to give it me a darker green. And I started adding that to the seaweed. And then I used uh, titanium white to lighten up that green. And I went back and added some more. So we have several colors of seaweed going on and I think it really turned out good. Um, so that's the seaweed. As we move across, you'll see more of the seaweed. Uh, the next thing I did was this um, ancient statue, this uh, head of a statue that's buried on the uh, sea floor. Um, we don't know what's attached underneath that. If you know his body is there, uh, we know his hand is over here somewhere. But what I did with him was put some highlights on him. Um, didn't really have a whole lot of highlights uh, to his face. So I added highlights to his chin, his lips, his nose, his cheekbones, and then I added little curly cues uh, to represent the hair on this marbled statue. So 
I think it turned out pretty good and, and uh, I wasn't really happy with the, that statue head the way it was before. So I, I really like it now. It's gotten much better. As we move across, I put some starfish in. There's one there and there's another one uh, over here on the right hand side. And I used Indian yellow and then a little titanium white at the very top of his, uh, his little legs that come out. I uh, put titanium white as a highlight on the top of the legs. Then I took midnight black and I put it in between uh, his little legs as a shadow color. I also took some of that uh, midnight black and a little bit of linseed oil and kind of made some shading. Uh, you'll notice some of the, uh, the ocean floor has a little more shade uh, shadows to it, a little more color down there. Um, and as we come across, we've got the main orca right here, our killer whale. And what I did with this, all three of the killer whales was, I just went over the white markings and, and just made those stand out. Uh, even though they're underwater, I left this one shaded with the blue, um, just to show you that uh, even though they're underwater, yes, they would, you know, have some blue to them, but these other ones were getting kind of lost in the ocean. And I wanted to really see these markings on the uh, killer whales. So I went over the white areas and it really made them pop. As we keep moving over, here's the, uh, you know, the marble hand of, of this guy over here sticking up. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm done with the hand yet. I'm, I'm not real good at doing hands and I'm not real happy with that, but it does look better than it did. Um, and then I added a little bit to the seaweed around it and a little more shading and shadow. Here's another starfish. Uh, again, I highlighted the killer whale, white parts, white markings on it. Um, over here, I kind of went crazy with the seaweed and really added uh, quite a bit of green and lighter green uh, and uh, a little bit of midnight black and darkened up this sea floor. It makes this orca stand out more. And uh, so I really like this area over here on this side of the painting. And my favorite part, I think, is this little guy here, this little puffer fish. And uh, I basically uh, used Indian yellow and did a little ball and then put a tail and a little, little fin uh, out in front of him. And then I went back with some titanium white and put some spots. I took midnight black and I dotted an eye and then very carefully, I took titanium white for a little pupil to put on his eye and, uh, and then a little midnight black on his belly underneath uh, as a shadow. So that is what I did to change this painting. And uh, I hope you like the, the difference. Let me stand back so you can, you can see. I think it turned out really good. I like the changes. So there we go. Um, I wanted to show you guys, again, I say this a lot on some of my episodes, just when you think you're done with a painting, sometimes you just need to let it, you know, set. Might be a good painting and you might might be done with it. Um, the more I walk by my room here and looked in through the hallway, I kept seeing stuff. I saw these little fish. I saw the seaweed. I needed color and I would walk in and add something and walk away and add, come back in and add something. And, uh, Sometimes you feel like just painting and you need to do it and uh, you know, while you're, you're creative, you, while you're feeling creative. So hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, it just shows you where you can take a, a painting and, and take it to the next level. And uh, I will see you on the next full episode, which should be coming up soon. Bye-bye.